Welcome back to Little Goody Two Shoes. Little Little Goody Two Shoes. We just, yeah, well, we just escaped the Dreamland <laughs> thing, and then we went to town, and we had an argument with Father or Reverend something something. And right now, Leb is waiting for us at the top of the uh, in the church tower. And I'm just gonna go talk with her. Maybe I should do some jobs. Because I'm kind of out of money. Don't got a lot of money. So, help Madeline with some apples. That's where. Something here. Something here. No. Yeah, then we also need to go to the crossroads. Uh, yeah, let's go to the village in. I think that's here. Ooh. Who's that again? Dorothea. Dorothea. Alright. Miley's. Look at these shoes. Tr red truly. Red truly looks best in you, Elise. Why, thank you. Uh, oh, you have to wear them to the festival, Elise. Now it's the time to find yourself a proper suitor, Elise. Ah, that's precisely what we're chatting about, Freya. Oh, yes. Aren't I a little too young to be looking for a husband? Why, the sooner the better, I'd say. That's not exactly what I'd like to be doing with my time, if I'm honest. I used to feel the same way until I met Flynn, you see. You'll see. I'd say Freya's got a good chance of meeting her future husband. Soon. Oh, Miss Brunhilda, I wouldn't say I'm... You're quite the catch, isn't she, Dorothea? Oh, Freya is the catch. Ah, in truth, I... I do feel the same as Elise. My interests lie elsewhere, you see. Oh, you don't mean... Sewing! <laughs> and I have my hands full with the festival, too. This really isn't the time. Well, that reminds me. Would you come and meet me by the well today at dusk, Elise? Oh, uh... Yes, I suppose. Girls these days, huh? You two will come around, I'm certain. I don't think so. They gay. <laughs> I don't think I'll be coming around anytime soon. Alright. Yob. Elise! Mama won't let me chop wood for her. Don't be silly, Jakob. You're much too young to handle a hatchet. I should not be trusted with a hatchet. I managed to chop my toe. Not off, just chop. Like, Cut it with a with an axe. <laughs> but I was chopping wood in Poland. <laughs> Can you get us some wood for the hearth, Elise? Of course. I need the money. Your mother's right, Jakob. You're too little. I'm not. You're a stubborn lad. That's what you are. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of what I look like. <laughs> Last one. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Yeah. 
How much? Gimme. How did you chop all that wood, Elise? Oh, well. I hope this is enough for what you went through, Elise. It's not that great of a deal, is it? <laughs> ah, I, I missed how much did I get paid. <laughs> Let's go check on the lab. Hey. I thought I'd never find you, Elise. Oh, sake. what now, Miffy? It's uh, yours. It's your... Anyway. I don't have food for you. Shoo shoo. Uh, but, but Elise, it's your... My what? Your friend. <laughs> the last with the funny hat. She's right outside. <laughs> Hurry it up! Take me to her, Molly. Right now. Hurry up, Molly. Oh, this can't go. My, you're covered in dirt, lass. Ah, uh, I'm... She's so funny looking. Look at her silly hat. <laughs> Angelica, don't be rude. Do you know this last Lisbeth? Uh, you know. uh, Ellie said she's from Primeldorf. Oh, well, I'm yes. not from Primeldorf. I've never had a... Why, I haven't the faintest idea, Irene. Oh, I... I'm looking for Elise. Have you seen her? Elise? Do you know her? We do happen to know Elise, but how do you know her, lass? Uh, Elise said she adopted... When did you hear all about this, Melly? Oh, if you please tell me where... Look, Mama, sh she is a tiny scarecrow. She has a tiny scarecrow? Forgive... Oh, yeah, she does. <laughs> Forgive me, but does anyone know where I can find Elise? Stop crowding her. She's my Elise servant. <laughs> Her goodness sake. What are you doing here, you? So you do know the last Elise. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's uh, she's together, uh think Elise, think. <laughs> A distant cousin from Primeldorf. Why, you don't have cousins, Elise. <laughs> I do recall old Holly's mother had a sister, but I never met her. Yes, exactly. Rosamarine is my aunt's grandmother, uh, granddaughter. Ah, it's Rosenmarine. <laughs> oh, it's very pleasant to meet you, Rosenmarine. Oh, thank you. Anyhow, it's getting quite late. We best move along before... Ah, uh, tell me, my dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? Uh, oh. Granny told me about it. She said Rosenmarine... She said Rosenmarine here might show up one day. She said Rosenmarine here might show up one day, you see. I never got to meet my aunt before she passed, but I'm glad I got to, uh, got to meet my cousin. Ah, I see, I see. And he turned up just in time for the festival, too. Mama! Mama! <laughs> Can the funny lady come play with us? Uh, of course! Uh, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't want to bother you, Rosenmarine. <laughs> You're all very, all very welcoming, but we ought to move along and... One wonders, Elise. How did you meet your cousin, then? I uh, found her all alone. She sent, she sent someone to... How did you meet your cousin then? I found her all alone at the crossroads. She sent someone to Kieferberg. She sent someone from Kieferberg. <laughs> Rosenmarine asked, some, Rosen asked someone from Pimeldorf to ask around Kieferberg, you see? Ah, I see. Can't say I remember anything of the sort. <laughs> I'm surprised such a thing didn't make itself known about town. Uh, you see, we... 
Uh, perhaps we're being rude, Arian. Arian? Is it Arian? I must say, I'm curious too. <laughs> well, I'd love to sit and chat, but we don't have time. Of course, we uh, we ought to sweep the living room. <laughs> You're a terrible liar, Rosamarine. <laughs> it's truly a pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> Let's go, Rosamarine. <laughs> that one's smooth. <laughs> I should buy some... Wait, wasn't this the... No. What are you doing? What are you doing? For goodness sake! Have you completely lost your wits, Rosamarine? Uh. I'm sorry, Elise. Uh. I knew you had a bird's nest for a brain, but this is too much. Hey, that's not nice. Uh, well... You know what you did. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to. I was chasing after flock, you see. For goodness sake. For goodness sake, Rosamarine. Why not let him frolic about? That's what goats do. Oh, but I... He took the laundry I was tanked into right out of my hands. Couldn't let him run and <laughs> let him ruin your sheets. Alright, well. Truth is we made a complete mess of it. <laughs> I don't even want to think about Father Han's reaction. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to trouble you. Forget it, Rosamarine. It's alright. I'm telling you, it's fine, Rosamarine. I feel all I've done so far is trouble you. Which isn't a complete lie now, is it? Yet, I do enjoy your company, so... Elise. Anyhow, we ought to keep our stories straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand with work. This is it! That's it, Rosamarine. Huh? All right. All right, listen carefully. Your grandmother is Granny Holly's auntie, the one that never came to visit. That makes you my distant cousin of sorts, you see? Yes. You came about to meet me, but we could could have simply bumped into each other. And you asked me if I knew anyone named Holly. Sorry, I I don't understand, Elise. How does that relate to what I said? <laughs> Why you liked Kieverbrook so much, you wanted to stay and lend a hand. Oh. You're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help with the festival. That'll keep them from asking too many questions, I'd wager. <laughs> I think that's a great idea, Elise. All right. This being said, Rosamarine, uh, Ros Rosamarine, you're going home right after nightfall, you hear? I don't want you hanging about these folks too much. Yes. All right, Elise. I we're making it happen right now, then. Let's go. Yes. Party talk. Oh, we got a party member. Must be careful, Rosamarine. These folks are all noisy and ill-tempered. Uh, all nosy and ill-tempered. We don't want to make this situation any worse. Understood? Yes, Elise. I'll be good, you see? You'll see. Head back to work. Well, I wanna... I wanna... I want to... Hit on... Uh, was it Frey? No, Lep. Lep. Oh. Oh. I thought she was here. Well... And then I want to go to the bakery. That was here. Oh, I got sixty two. Wow. I'm um, buying. Uh, let's see. Bundle of cookie made with different dough fillings and toppings. I mean, it's it's the same as three bread. Yeah. Buy one and two. Let's keep ten. It's not overspent. 
Oh, thank you. Uh. All right. Oh, hey! Ah, oh, there they are! Your cousin, isn't it? Your cousin, is it? It's a pleasure to meet you. She came all the way from Primeldorf. Primeldorf? That's a long way from here. Ah, uh, truly. I was thinking of asking you to collect me some eggs, Elise. Here. Rose... Rosemary can help me and lend me a hand. Ah, yes. <laughs> Out of my way, you feathered rat. <laughs> Alright. This was... This was the... Uh, like, 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 like... Chicken walk, pick up egg. Yes. Alright. Like, trying to, like, travel in between them, I find this less efficient than actually just picking up, like, staying at the same place and just picking up from the left to the right. Maybe going one up or one down. You win! That's a lot of eggs, lass. You two work well together, don't you? Uh, I suppose we do. Yes. Here you go, Elise, for a job well done. Thank you, Mr. Eugen. Eugen. Eugene. <sighs> it's best you head home now, Rosemary. Folks have had enough of you for one day. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> oh, it was so f so much fun, Elise. If you say so. I'll see you at home then. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> uh. Freya by the water well at dusk. Don't. I. Yeah, okay. Help Welma with the chickens. Help Dorothea chop some wood. <laughs> I think we will go. At the water well. Is that a home? Uh, no, it's probably. Probably here. Forevermore decorated with blooming flowers. Yeah, 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 that's not a water well. Ah, okay. Sorry, I've got a date. I'm going on an adventure! There she is. I'll spend some time with her. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> they suit me rather well, don't they? Your legs are so long. It's like you were made for those shoes. Or the shoes were made for you, maybe. 
You're exaggerating, Freya. <laughs> Nothing of the sort, Elise. You're so elegant. Huh? I always thought you were so graceful, even when we were younger. <laughs> Freya. Freya! I'm more of a farm lad lass, you see. <laughs> Made to chop wood and draw water from the well. You know, I... I wouldn't put it like that, Freya. God damn, why am I so... Fuck. Uh, you're different, Elise. You're so confident and poised. And rude, don't forget rude. Not one of those folks would ever agree with you, Rhea. You always know when to stand your ground and what to say. Which is what gets me in trouble to begin with. <laughs> I can't help but admire the way you carry yourself, Elise. Freya. You're truly... How I wish I was as brave as you are. Huh? I could never talk back to Mrs. Vilma, or anywhere else for that matter. You are a little too forgiving, that's true. That's why they keep praising me left and right, I suppose. What's keeping you from speaking your mind, Freya? <laughs> oh, I'm too much of a chicken for that, Elise. Are you out of your mind? This is ridiculous! You lost your wits, and it's only Monday! <laughs> huh? hmm. Who's to tell you what you can or cannot do? <laughs> ah, it's not as though as I... It's not as though I can simply start. Only... Only it truly is that simple, Freya. Elise. You're so capable and gifted. Aww. I know how much you love this town, but... Even you have to admit it, all it does it hold folks... It holds... F even you have to admit all it does is hold folks back. Aww. I know, Elise. Yet I can't seem to get to the bottom of it. Kieferberg is my home, after all. It's not as though you can't build a home someplace else, Freya. I know. This is where my father is. Where you are. It's... It's where my memories of my, mother's, my mother are. Freya. I've thought about Pimmeldorf, or even going beyond that. But... I must say I'm glad to be here in this moment. Right where I am. Uh -huh. With you, in Kieferberg. Aww. Aren't you, Elise? <sighs> you do make it bearable, I suppose. Kieferberg wouldn't be the same to me without you, if I'm honest. Freya. Aww. Mm -hmm. Capable and gifted. I heard you the first time, Elise. <laughs> Why you? Say, I'll be home all afternoon tomorrow. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> For goodness sake. Got a... Got a heart stone. See, I'm, I'm, I'm playing all the cards. <laughs> um. Wait, that cost me three food? Oh, damn it. No, no. All right. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, I took the... <laughs> because it's dark outside and the, the light. Yep, I just wasted a lot of food. <laughs> All right. Oh, lass. To think I would be surrounded by demons on my deathbed. Your deathbed? That faithful evening. I was taken to his dwelling under the pretense of glory. What do you mean? His blessing, his blissful word. You ought, you oughtn't believe any of it. Ah, she's the... Um, so either... She... Like, what I'm thinking is, she's me. That's what I'm thinking. But she was pr uh, promised glory. I want fortune, so maybe she's not me. And the old hag, I think, is the grandmother. 
maybe, but I have no idea who, who he is. Ooh, Walpurgus Oil. Alright. Okay. Mrs. Wilma's got a whole shed for herself, and yet... Fashioned out of an old barrel, the rickety cart rests cradling, cradling a couple worn-out buckets. What's a good little kitty? How many afternoons did I spend here wish washing these folks clothes, I wonder? <laughs> Keep her Bergs washing well. Statue of a fish stands in the center. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Elias loves Arli. This must have been left by some guests, I guess. Oh, we can have buy here. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, I get so lonely all by myself in this inn. What can I buy here, Wilma? Matches, bandages, ointment, sweet grape. Oh, oh. Okay, so this is for the sanity. Okay. Sweet grape juice bottled into a glass container set to soothe one's troubled mind. How much do I have? 70? Yeah, let's buy, buy one. Alright. Yes. I'm sure, Wilma. What can I sell? It's just the stuff I have, right? There's nothing... Yeah. At half prices. Great. Let me know if you need anything else, precious. Uh... You look... My, you get another earful staying in town until this late. Isn't it quite late for you too, Mrs. Mech... Mechtilde? Oh dearie, mornings were never my favorite. Your grandmother shared that sentiment, didn't she? She did take her time to go to bed, that's true. Old Holly truly was full of surprises and secrets. Secrets, Miss Mechtilde? Ah, uh, why, yes, Gretel and I were always wondering what was on her mind. She was quite withdrawn at times, you see. I suppose she was, yes. Gretel was the only one she'd conf confide in. Lep uh, Lep's granny does talk about her a great deal, that's for certain. You can't take old Jochen's foolery to heart, Elise. You lasses are different from when I was your age, and that's the way I, it ought to be. Maybe your elders weren't as narrow-minded, Miss Mechtilde. Oh, you wouldn't know, dearie. Alright. Full of secrets, you say. Diabolical plans, you say. Going late to bed, you said. Granny was a wild one. Hello? This is Lab, right? Yeah. Don't you start, Lab. I'm not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can stand there looking at me all you want. She's... She's a rather sweet lass, I must say. Lab again. I know you, Elise. She's my cousin. There's nothing more to it. Oh, could you say that again? She's, um, you know. No, I don't know, Elise. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> uh, now that we got that out of the way, won't you tell me who she is? She says she's a traveler. <laughs> I found her hiding in my granary on Saturday. A traveler? I'm not convinced either, Lep. But I felt sorry for the poor lass. 
She says she'll be leaving right after the festival, so it's only temporary. What has she come here to do? She won't tell me much herself. I had no intention of bringing her to Kieferberg, but she... graced us with her presence, I suppose. I had to think of something right there and then. Elise. I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but... I understand, Elise. Thou oh, Lep. I also understand that you're telling me is half-truth at best. Here's your bread. You'll let me know if you need more, won't you? Ooh, two bread. I trust you all the same, Elise. You don't have to help me, Lep. You know that. Yet, here I am. Look at me, Elise. I do trust you. I need you to know that. Alright. Stay out of trouble now. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, she's so sweet. They're all really sweet. Except Elise. <laughs> I mean, she's also... She means well. It's <laughs> just got a... Got a... Communication issue. <laughs> Oh, wait, can I now check out the crossroads? Have dinner with Rosemarine. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, flock's back. Ah, oh, there you are, Elise. It's quite late, isn't it? Spare me the ear for, uh, spare me the airfall, Rosemarine. What's there to sweep out? What's there to sweep out here after nightfall, anyhow? Uh, oh, I was keeping myself busy until you came home, is all. And Flock here was amusing himself chasing after the broom. <laughs> Weren't you, Flock? <laughs> What's for supper then? Yes. Oh, I made grape soup. Ugh. Soup. Soup. I figured we could both use something hearty. We have eggs. What about the eggs? Of course. I cooked those too. I thought we could toast some of yesterday's bread. I thought we could toast some of yesterday's bread to have it with them. Oh, thank goodness. Did I do something wrong? Eggy toast ought to be enough for today, I suppose. Let's head inside, Rosemary. What? <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> oh, but I... Elise, wait. <laughs> it tastier than it looks, isn't it? <laughs> Could have been worse. That's for certain. Anything tastes good when you're hungry, I find. I suppose the day went well, all things considered. I best keep an eye on her, lest these folks... I'm sorry. Say, Elise, I've been meaning to ask you something. What was that? Cracking? <laughs> Creaking? Hmm? Those shoes you found this morning. What about them? It. You still haven't told me how much... Uh, haven't told me much about them. I've seen them before in my dreams a long time ago. In your dreams? I'm sorry, I... Elise, is, is, uh, Elise, is there something you're not telling me? Uh... I don't know where to start, Rosemary. I've been avoiding thinking about it, but this morning in Kieferberg, I... It's fate, Elise. They're finally starting to align. Hmm? <laughs> Never mind. I saw an old hag, Rosemarine. She told me about this patron saint. Uh, she told me about this patron saint in the woods. That he grants folks wishes if they bring him gifts. So it's true after all. You've heard about all of this before? <laughs> carry on, carry on. She said I must bring him three gifts. The 
tender flesh, sweetest nectar, and good company. Uh. Elise, that's wonderful. What else did she say? Did she mention your fate? For goodness sake! For goodness sake, Rosemarine. You're scaring me with all this nonsense. <laughs> oh, there, there's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. How do you know about all of this? It's an old folk tale my granny used to tell me. A folk tale? Carry on now, what else did he say? Uh, she mentioned finding a dwelling in the woods that he will grant wish if I bring him the three gifts made from the testaments. You told her your wish, didn't you? I did, but it's nothing out of the ordinary, it's... Don't tell me! You can't tell other folks about your wish, Elise. Out with it! Rosemary, you have to tell me what's going on. Oh. All I know is what my granny told me, but I can tell you all about it, Elise. I can help you. Rosemarine. I I need to think about this. I'll be here tidying up so you can ask me anything you'd like. Alright. Alright. Rosemarine, you don't have to look so frightened, Elise. This is all very overwhelming, is all. <laughs> oh, Elise, isn't fate such a wonderful thing? Enough of that, Rosemarine. What are these testaments and gifts? Ah, of course. In order to meet him, you're going to have to gather the testaments to resolve. To your resolve. These are the tools and ingredients you'll have to use when crafting the gifts. It's common courtesy to bring your host nice gifts when visiting, isn't it? Huh? Ah, there's also the trials, but I can tell you all about his folk tale later. Alright then. Uh, for now I want to know. What is the tender flesh? I don't quite like the sound of it, but... Oh, you're the one making it sound bad, Elise. The tender flesh represents your body. The vessel for your soul, so to speak. A representation of my own flesh, then. All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal, mortal body. Huh? It's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. It can be a nail clipping or a strand of hair. What's important is that the connection between you and, and the symbolic vessel. Symbolic vessel. Rosemarine? What's the good company? I don't know what to think of this one. You should meet him when your soul is at its most vulnerable, Elise. At its most vulnerable? Granny used to say, good company brings one's in innermost self to light. One's true face, in other words. Rosemary, I'm not sure I understand. Why? It's love, Elise. Love? Love reveals all, wouldn't you say? I suppose. Rosemary, what is the sweetest nectar? It's not as though I don't have an idea, but I don't quite like it. It represents your vitality, Elise, your essence. You don't mean... All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal, mortal body. Part of my mortal body, huh? I know what you're thinking, Elise. That could be it. That could be it, if that's what you're inclined to bring him, but... What is it, Rosamarine? These are meant as proof of your resolve, first and foremost. It's your determination that's most important, Elise. Huh. I need time to think. I still can't wrap my head around this nonsense, Rosemarine. That's alright, Elise. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I think I need a moment. <laughs> Bringing him gifts made out of testaments. And I'm supposed to find these somewhere? But where? All right. All right. I'm gonna end this episode here. So again, I I'm now I'm getting suspicious that Rosamarine is maybe she actually is the witch. No, that's too obvious. I. Mm, it would be pretty 
on point of like Lep or Freya would be the witch. But I don't know. We'll we'll see how it turns out. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked the video and would like to see more. And like, comment, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.